Hi guys, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and we're going to go into how to set up a Surface Book 2 for gaming. There's a couple different things that really make a big difference, and I want you guys to know what those are. These apply also to other gaming laptops, so it's really important that you keep these things in mind. So there's top three tips, three best practices that are going to make gaming on the Surface Book 2 and other gaming laptops work a lot better for you. So stay tuned, and we'll go right into those. Tip number one is you're going to drop the resolution. Unless you've got an absolute beast, you're gonna to wanna to put the resolution. I think personally for the Surface Book 2, 1680 by 1050 is the best option. If you change this resolution and you try and do something that's uh, the wrong aspect ratio, you're gonna have really big black borders at the top or at the bottom and it's gonna be a really narrow screen or really crunched in on the side and it's just gonna look terrible. 1680 by 1050 is a really good resolution for the Surface Book 2. And in almost all situations, you're gonna look at it and because it's at 1650, 1680 by 1050, you're gonna be able to change the graphic settings, the options, all the way up to ultra or highest, which as far as particle effects, lighting, uh, all the different textures, it's gonna look better. And with the screen being not directly in front of your face, you're not gonna see a lot of that loss that comes from being at that lower resolution. And that is my absolute highest recommendation. The first thing you should do, change the resolution to 1680 by 1050 and increase your graphics options to high or ultra. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not in borderless video. So what that looks like right here, uh, windowed or borderless windowed or windowed full screen, all of these are going to drop your resolution by 20 to 40% depending on the program. Uh, almost never have I seen a program run as well in borderless window, windowed or windowed as it does in full screen. So full screen is the number two recommendation. Make sure that you are in full screen mode if you really want to see smooth frame rates. So if you guys are gaming on the Surface Book 2, uh, again, or really any other gaming laptop, one of the other important things is really make sure that you have it plugged in. Um, disconnecting the power can make a massive difference on what the frame rates are in the game. Now you can do either plugged in all the time, uh, or you can use a power bank, I use this power bank. This is uh, the Tanker Extreme. And this is from Jagotech. I've done a couple reviews on them before in the past. And what I like is this one is the most powerful one on the market. It's a 100 watt charger, dual charger. It has 60 watt, 100 watt USB-C, and then a single charger for USB-A at 18 watts, so which is your uh, Quick Charge 3.0. So you can use that to charge your phone. It's a 2700 watt uh, battery, uh, which means it's the largest size that you're allowed to bring legally onto an airplane, which is pretty cool. And um, it works really well. I can game for hours at uh, the full capacity of the computer with it being plugged in and charging, I, you know, doing what it would do if it were plugged in. Uh, I can do that for hours with the portable battery. Uh, I'll put a link to this battery in the description as well for you guys. I tried the ultimate performance mode and wasn't able to get anything to work. I it displayed in power config the ultimate performance mode text and <laughs> just wouldn't show up. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for getting the performance to increase on the Surface Book 2 or other gaming laptops, put it in the comment section. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.